Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. Welcome back to the show, Larry. Jim, I always love being on the show. Larry, you had a news release earlier in the week. What was in it? Well, it was the uh, it was a talking about the Wendon stockpile and our testing project, and that is uh, underway now with Cometco. And, uh, you know, they're uh, looking at uh, initial steps of uh, assaying and varying size reductions of the samples, which is really just grinding, and uh, come up with the ultimate uh, uh, step that we can leach and uh, or the size that we can leach uh, readily. And uh, so that's, that's an excellent thing. It's great to be back uh, talking about our manganese project, which has been dormant now for 10 years, well, not 10 years, but about 8 to 9 years, 8 years at least, and uh, it's uh, because of our uh, feasibility study. So I just want to remind people about what the manganese is all about. Well, the first thing that you have to remember is the U.S. has no production of the manganese. And uh, all their deposits are very low grade. So uh, they're dependent on the outside world for manganese. And as you can see, uh, I smell a lot of uh, uh, turmoil coming up in the next few weeks or months. And uh, manganese is going to be critical. And uh, because, uh, you know, you, you can get some out of uh, maybe a little bit out of Mexico and some out of South America. But it, you have to go offshore for the rest of it, and uh, that's not a good position to be in. And remember, the simple thing about manganese, we know it's used in batteries, we know it's used in uh, specialty steels, and uh, but you can't make steel itself without manganese. There's no substitution for it, and if you can't make steel, the world stops. So... Uh, we think that we're in the right spot. We're glad to get the focus on uh, on on the uh, manganese. We have uh, made deals with the uh, the DLA, uh, the old Department of Defense, and uh, we're looking forward for the next uh, 47 weeks, or whatever, of uh, producing results from the sample the sampling program we took. Now, I know that there's some shareholders out there that, were, that have been involved with the company since, uh, well, ever since uh, we started working on the manganese projects, and uh, that was a uh, lonely road to tread. Um, we were one of the first companies to start talking about manganese in any kind of a uh, continuous basis, and uh, we did a lot of work. We drilled uh, hundreds of holes, or at least uh, over, well over a 100 holes, and... Uh, you know, one of the areas that we drilled was the BLM land, which was uh, in the uh, Natillery Peak area. And uh, believe it or not, that uh, seemed to have the better results. You know, at least double what we were talking about, which was, uh, you know, say roughly uh, 2%. So uh, we uh, actually completed a feasibility study on that, a pre-feasibility study on that at a cost of about $2.5 million with Tetra Tech, one of the uh, largest uh, uh, engineering firms in the world that does feasibility studies. And uh, after announcing the feasibility, well, let's, let's put it this way. When we were starting to uh, get the feasibility underway, uh, the price of manganese started to collapse. And uh, it was a race, uh, I, I can almost say, to the bottom. And uh, because, uh, you know, the prices that we had anticipated disappeared. And uh, I think we were still, you know, feasible at the time, according to the studies that we did on manganese and the studies that we paid for, and uh, that we were still in the ballpark. But the... Uh, uh, Securities Commission said, you know, you're going to have to use a three-year three, to three year trailing average on manganese, which, which actually lowered the price more, and uh, it was not a feasible project. And in hindsight, they were right. I mean, the price broke through even their <laughs> three-year trailing average. So it uh, that went on the shelf. Now, 
The one thing that I want to mention about that is that we did most of our testing work for electrolytic manganese metal, and uh, we started to look at the battery side of it in 2010, and we did some test work with Cometco on that, and we got uh, high purities and high results on that, and uh, high recoveries. And uh, the interesting aspect of that, going down that path instead of uh, electrolytic manganese metal, is the footprint was imme- would be immediately reduced by 40%. And that's significant. We, our costs were going to be about $450 million, and a 40% reduction would take us down below 300. And, uh, and the simple reason for that is that uh, electrolytic manganese dioxide for batteries and other uses is uh, 40% oxygen which is free, and uh, where is the metal? It has to be 100% metal, and uh, so you're only producing, having to produce uh, the uh, about 60% of the uh, requirement for making a battery, and uh, so that's an automatic reduction in uh, OPEX, and uh, also going forward, the... Uh, the cost of building building the uh, building it out. So it uh, that's one of the things that we will be regenerating. Even though the work that we're doing at uh, the Tillery Peak is for electrolytic manganese metal, this is what the Department of Defense wants and needs, and uh, and we're very confident that we can uh, produce the results that they need. Um, we may need a little help for uh, the price of the me- of the metal, but uh, I'm I'm anxiously looking forward to that. I spent a lot of years uh, playing with uh, manganese metal and uh, not playing with it, but doing some serious work. We <clears throat> we probably spent about $20 million on that project, and uh, it went on the shelf, and uh, now it, uh, our results from getting the patented process for that has put us back into play. It's only on the on the Wendon stockpile at this point, but uh, it, that could uh, have, you know, benefit the Atillery Peak deposit itself. Now, we reduced our footprint in the Atillery Peak area, and uh, we basically uh, tried to get away from where we had uh, option payments to patent holders, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and that was getting significant. We were close to half a million dollars by 2012 in option payments a year. And you got to remember that when we did that deal, the price was way up. You know, it was up about four times what it is today. And um, the guys that held the patents were not going to give them up for uh, small payments. So uh, we got stuck with that. We wanted to proceed with that project. And uh, we hired Cometco to do that. And uh, Cometco came through for us. And uh, actually, they, they patented the process on our behalf. And, uh, hey, it's uh, it's all looking very great. The markets right now, uh, getting close to the twentieth, is uh, are kind of in a turmoil. You know, uh, the last I looked, uh, everything was down, and uh, but I don't think that's a, I think that's a temporary stop. I think that basically we're still coming up to a huge bull market, and uh, so I think our you know our members should be uh, our shareholders. Should be happy with what we have. We've doubled the stock in the, this year, and uh, been up as high as uh, seventy-two cents, which surprisingly was taken down to forty cents at the end of the day. Usual stuff, the same stuff that happened in two thousand and eleven. Uh, and you know, it's uh, but these guys' days are numbered. I see. I think. I think that the uh, wisdom. We'll take the bring back the uptick rule, and uh, these creditors will stop filling their pockets with billions of dollars every year from shareholders. So that'd be great. Now we, you know, we can't. I, I can, well, I can't be more happy about getting this this underway. We should have news on the uh, on the recycling portion. As you know, we bought that. Uh, cathode precipitation reactor and uh, that uh, requires a uh, clean clean area and uh, we're working on that or Cometco's working on that 
and uh, hopefully uh, we can have some news on that next week. So uh, ongoing and upward and uh, the way we go, Jim. Larry, for people new to American Agonese, what's the company all about? The company is a critical metals company that uh, was involved in manganese, which is uh, super critical. If anybody wanted to look at what I believe to be the most critical of all metals, if you don't have it, is uh, is uh, manganese. And uh, manganese is, uh, uh, is a process that we developed where we could compete with China at the time. Our costs were at the, almost the same as China. And... Uh, the uh, fact of the matter was that uh, we were proud of what we had achieved, and uh, the price of the metal kind of defeated it, the purpose at the end of the day, and that happens not just with manganese. That can happen with zinc, lead, copper, gold, silver, depending on the uh, where the price goes. So uh, we've taken that as a cornerstone of our uh, of our patented process for uh, recycling lithium-ion batteries, and... Uh, and uh, we developed that uh, to, to two patents. And uh, we are, you can find all that information. I keep getting letters from people that, that obviously don't bother going to the site. But And I can't, you know, we got too many uh, requests uh, out of the office to, uh, to you know, provide uh, information on our process. Uh, it uh, eats into our time, and uh, we can't answer all those letters. And uh, But I would advise everybody to go to AmericanManganeseInc.com. You'll find the answers if you dig around the site. And uh, we are traded on the uh, Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol AMY. We're traded in the U.S. under the symbol AMYZF. And we're traded in Frankfurt under the symbol 2AM. The... Uh, you can reach the company at 778-574-4444, or you can email me at l-r-e-a-u-g-h at a-m-y-m-n dot com. Larry, thank you so much for the update. Thank you, Jim. My guest has been Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. Our conversation took place on January 15th. I'm Jim Goddard. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.